So hello to the video. Today I'll be making uh, still still uh, stairs with one stringer, uh, quite a steep ones. So let me talk to this uh, total rise of the steps uh, is 2,300 millimeters. Total run is 2,000 millimeters. Rise count is 11. Thread count is 10. Uh, riser height uh, 209.1 millimeters. Uh, uh, thread depth is 200 millimeters. And uh, uh, stair angle will be 46.3 degrees. Thread thickness is 50 millimeters. Uh, stringer width, this is incorrect, is uh, 100, uh, 140 millimeters and nosing will be 2 centimeters or 12 millimeters. Uh, I mean uh, 20 millimeters, sorry. So this is it, this is one stringer. is 3 millimeters thick and uh, uh, 140 to 140 or 14 centimeters by 14 centimeters so this is the place uh, you can see is quite narrow and steep but what it is we cannot do do it uh, as well uh, so the one step I mean, the first step is going to be flush with this, flush with this, and the last will will be about here. So you can step from the last to the second floor because uh, it's better that way. You so you can see it's quite a steep angle uh, with this uh, position. You eliminated I don't know maybe three three degrees. Uh, if you finish right here and you step on the second floor directly so I will be start cutting uh, and I hope it's going to be all simple but we will see
So now I cut the bottom side. I now measured and marked a uh, upper side. You can see I made a mistake the first time. This is the right line. This is the false line. Uh, I add uh, 100 millimeters or 10 centimeters to the bottom because the finished floor will, will be 10 centimeters higher that is uh, right now. So I cut this one and I hope everything is going to to be uh, fine because this is my only only stringer or uh, uh, steel pipe so no mistake guys i think it's a very big success with the first step uh, you can see i have part where it should be and it's fitting perfectly you can see no light no seams is very very stable. So the next step is uh, cutting the risers and it's total of uh, 209 uh, millimeters minus uh, 50 millimeters of, uh, because of the thread thickness. Um, so in the normal uh, situation, see when to have the, the risers connected all the way, yeah, I mean in the, in the two points, in my case is going to have something like this. Uh, this is a total of 200 millimeters. Uh, the angle, uh, the angle iron. Uh, I mean, the steel pipe is 140, so you're going to have a 60 millimeters uh, gap uh, in the back, and uh, I think it's going to look uh, even better because of this, uh, because of this gap. So uh, I need to measure measures. 10 points and cut uh, 10, uh, 10 pieces and uh, tack point it then we, uh, we will proceed in the so I cut all the pieces uh, I measured all and like I said before uh, the finish floor will be 10 centimeters higher so I marked uh, 10 centimeters and every uh, 31 centimeters uh, like something like this so every 31 uh, I cut this uh, 5 centimeters shorter because of the thread uh, and yes I will now uh, tack point it uh, tack point it all the pieces and we will uh, see how it looks
So I uh, tack point uh, all the pieces and now I have the top and the bottom steel plate, uh, mount plate. Uh, I think I will just weld it like this, uh, something like this, with the four uh, uh, top and the bottom, uh, four bolts and uh, it's 10 millimeter thick. Uh, so I think it will be a plenty strong. So I welded all the plates and uh, and the pieces. Uh, only change is uh, that I add another step right in the end because of the second uh, floor will be also uh, higher when it uh, will be finished so i made it a little bit longer with one extra step and uh, for now this is it because i don't have any more uh, plates uh, and uh, yes in the next episode we will finish uh, all the welding, the sanding, the painting and uh, and the finish is uh, going to be uh, when I mount uh, to the to the walls. So if you interesting uh, in the end results, uh, please follow and see ya.